Hey guys, Mr. Backberg here. In this video, we're going to use the Pythagorean Theorem to help us classify some triangles. Along with using the Pythagorean Theorem to find the missing side of a right triangle, we can also use the Pythagorean Theorem to prove or show that a triangle is a right triangle. So let's use 5, 12, 13 as an example. When we're dealing with a right triangle, the hypotenuse is always the longest side. So this 13 has to be the C value when we're setting up our Pythagorean theorem. So I'm just going to go in order. I'm going to go A, B, C. So I'm going to plug those values into the Pythagorean theorem to prove that 5, 12, 13 has to be a right triangle. So if we set it up, 5 squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. On the left hand side, 5 squared is 25 plus 12 squared is 144 and this equals 13 squared which is 169. Left hand side, if we add those together, 25 plus 144 is 169. Right hand side is 169. These two values match up, which means that the Pythagorean theorem worked. A squared plus B squared did in fact equal C squared. So that means yes, this 5, 12, 13 has to be a right triangle. But what happens if they're not equal? There are two other things that can happen when we use the Pythagorean theorem. And based on what happens, that'll affect what kind of triangle we're looking at. In this first case, it says if A squared plus B squared is bigger than C squared, then the triangle is an acute triangle. The other case says if a squared plus b squared is smaller than c squared, then the triangle is an obtuse triangle. So if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, it's a right triangle. Otherwise, if a squared plus b squared is bigger than c squared, it's acute. Or if a squared plus b squared is smaller, then it's obtuse. So let's look at some examples. In this first example, we're given three side lengths of 5, 6, and the square root of 61. We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to help us figure out what kind of triangle this is. Now these ones do go in order. The 5 is going to be our A, the 6 is going to be our B, and the square root of 61 is going to be our C. So if we start setting up our Pythagorean theorem, we get 5 squared plus 6 squared is equal to the square root of 61 squared. And we're going to see if this is true. 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36, and on the right hand side, if we square the square root of 61, the square and the square root cancel each other out because they're inverses of each other. So all we have left over is the 61. On the left hand side, if we add these together, 25 plus 36 is 61. And on the right hand side, we've got 61. This is a case where we've got a right triangle. The left hand side is equal to the right hand side, a squared plus b squared equaled c squared, so this one is a right triangle. In this example, we're given a picture of a triangle to look at. We've got side lengths of 14, 22, and 26, and we want to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what kind of triangle this is. The biggest side always has to be the c, so that's going to be the 26 here. The other ones don't matter, a or b, let's call the 14a, let's call the 22b. So setting up the Pythagorean theorem, we'd go 14 squared plus 22 squared. We're checking to see if that's equal to 26 squared. Well, 14 squared is 196. 22 squared is 484. And on the right-hand side, 26 squared is 676. Now, if we add up the left-hand side, we end up getting 680. And on the right-hand side, we've still got 676. Now, these are not equal to each other, so I know for sure this is not a right triangle. But what we want to figure out is what kind of triangle is it? And this is a case where the a squared plus b squared stuff is bigger than the c squared stuff. When we added those things together on the left-hand side, we got a bigger number than the c squared. If that happens, then your triangle is an acute triangle. In this last example, let's say we've got a triangle that has side lengths of 5, 7, and 10. Again, we're going to check what kind of triangle this is. C is always the biggest number, so that's got to be the 10. The other ones we'll just call A and B. So setting up the Pythagorean theorem, 
I would go 5 squared plus 7 squared equals 10 squared. On the left hand side, 5 squared is 25. 7 squared is 49. And 10 squared is 100. Now, adding up the things on the left hand side, if we take 25 plus 49, we're going to get 74. Okay, now 74 does not equal 100, so I know this is not a right triangle, so we have to check what kind of triangle is this. Well, on this one, the a squared plus b squared is smaller than, less than, the c squared. So that should tell us, since this c squared value is a bigger number, that this is an obtuse triangle. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.